Have you ever wondered how crystals and gemstones can be used for healing? Picture this, a practice so ancient, it has been passed down through countless generations, yet it remains as relevant today as it was centuries ago. Yes, we're talking about the captivating world of crystal and gemstone healing. This timeless art harnesses the unique properties of these natural wonders to promote physical and emotional wellness. Intrigued? Stay tuned to uncover the fascinating process of using crystals and gemstones for healing. Crystal healing, an age-old practice, harnesses the life-giving elements of the earth and the universe. This practice traces its roots back to the earliest civilizations. Ancient Egyptians, for instance, believed in the protective and healing properties of crystals and gemstones. They adorned their pharaohs with these precious stones, believing they held power from the gods. Over in India, the tradition of using crystals in Ayurvedic medicine has been preserved for thousands of years. They believed that each crystal had a unique vibration that could bring balance to a person's energy. Similarly, the Chinese culture revered jade for its healing properties and used it to cleanse the body and spirit. Fast forward to today, and the practice of crystal healing is still alive and well. Each type of crystal or gemstone, from amethyst to rose quartz, carries a unique healing property. Now that we know a little bit about the history, let's dive into the process of crystal healing. Using crystals for healing is a simple yet effective process. Let's walk through this journey together, step by step. Our journey begins with choosing the right crystal. Now there's no one size fits all here. Each crystal has its own unique energy and healing properties. Some are calming, others energizing, and still others are meant for protection or love. The key is to trust your intuition. You might feel drawn to a particular crystal for reasons unknown to you. That's perfectly okay. Your intuition is guiding you towards what you need most at this moment. Next, we cleanse our chosen crystal. This helps to clear any residual energy from the crystal, allowing it to be fully receptive to your intentions. There are several ways to cleanse a crystal. You might choose to bathe it in the light of a full moon, bury it in the earth, use the smoke from sage or incense, or even run it under cool, clear water. The method isn't as important as the intention. You're preparing this crystal to work with you, to become an ally in your healing process. Once the crystal is cleansed, it's time to set your intention. Hold the crystal in your hands, close your eyes, and clearly visualize what you wish to achieve. Do you seek peace, healing, protection, love? Whatever it is, visualize it in as much detail as possible, and then release this intention into the crystal. You're programming the crystal with your desired outcome, creating a powerful tool for manifestation. Finally, place the crystal on your body or in your surrounding environment. If you're working with a specific chakra, you might place the crystal on that area of your body. If you're seeking to influence the energy of a room, you might place the crystal in a central location. Again, trust your intuition here. You'll know where the crystal needs to be. Remember, crystal healing is a personal journey. What works for one person might not work for another. But with patience, intention, and a willingness to listen to your own inner wisdom, you can harness the healing power of crystals to create positive change in your life. With the steps clearly laid out, you are now ready to embark on your crystal healing journey. Let's summarize what we've learned about harnessing the power of crystals and gemstones for healing. Firstly, choosing the right crystal is paramount. Every crystal has its own unique energy and healing properties. Some might bring calm, others might stimulate creativity while some may help you connect with your intuition. Listen to your instincts and let them guide you towards the crystal that resonates with you. Next, remember to cleanse your crystal. This can be done in a variety of ways, such as immersing it in salt water, burying it in the earth, or even exposing it to moonlight. Cleansing your crystal ensures it is free from previous energies and is ready to work with you. Setting an intention is another crucial step. Your intention is like a roadmap for your crystal, guiding its energy towards your desired outcome. This could be anything from healing from a physical ailment to manifesting a new job. Finally, placing your crystal on your body or in your surrounding environment can help you reap its benefits. It could be as simple as placing it under your pillow, wearing it as a pendant, or even just holding it in your hand during meditation. As we conclude, remember, the power of crystals lies in their ability to amplify your intentions. Happy healing!